In 2015, scientists from LIGO and Virgo reported the first ever discovery of gravitational waves. They have observed that two black holes of few solar masses each merge together to create a ripple in the fabric of space-time. This ripple is known as a gravitational wave. In some ways, it is pretty similar to other types of waves like electromagnetic waves. It has a frequency and a wavelength. It also has a distinct property that is, whenever it passes through an object, it stretches it apart and compresses it and this keeps on repeating as the gravitational wave passes through the body. In fact, this idea was used to make the first ever detection and as the gravitational wave passed through LIGO's arm, it stretched it apart and brought it closer. This resulted in the first detection of gravitational wave. But the thing is, whenever low mass black holes merge, they create high frequency waves and LIGO can detect only high frequency gravitational waves. What if we want to look at low frequency gravitational waves? like the ones coming from supermassive black holes. In that case, we have to come up with a new idea. Here is a hypothetical ring of particles at the same distance from the center. As a gravitational wave passes, it stretches and it compresses. Now imagine each of these particles replaced by a pulsar and at the center, let's place planet Earth. So a pulsar is incredibly stable and its pulses are very stable. So the times of arrival, which is the time at which the pulse arrives at the receiver on Earth, are very stable. Let's take a look at the pulsar timing array technique. In this, you locate a ring of pulsars at some distance from our planet Earth and you observe them to get their times of arrival. Then as a gravitational wave passes, what happens is the distance between a pulsar and our planet gets lower and it becomes larger. This means the pulse arrives a little sooner than what we have seen before and a little later. This means we see a change in the times of arrivals. The IPTA studies the pulsar and their timing techniques to find out whether the times of arrival has been increased or decreased. This way, the IPTA can detect whether a gravitational wave has passed through the pulsar timing array or not. This technique is very helpful in detecting very high mass black hole mergers like mergers of supermassive black holes. And let's hope that we actually see one very soon.